Hey there, everyone, this is Alcal playing Rayman Legends, and you know, the last few days, I've kind of bemoaned the fact that it just will not let me, you know, like, do the whole Origins things and finish Origins, but I thought about it, and I think that's not really fair of me. Uh, I'm trying to fit the game to sort of this mold I've been wanting for, but no, the game is designed in such a way, and you know what? That's fine. It's a decision they made that's perfectly uh, alright, perfectly correct. So if the game wants me to beat the game before I can get to the rest of what I want to do, well then that's just fine then. Let's go ahead and beat the game. Let's see how that ends up going. Yeah, see, there's this, and then there's the last song. A cloud of darkness. It's clearly Barbara, though, right there on the screen, but you know, it feels appropriate. Ooh, your foot is giant. Cloud of darkness. Here we go. Still in hell. It's where we live now. Press a button and do an attack. Whoa, go over to lava. Hook. Do a jump. Oh my. <laughs> I said do a jump, don't miss a jump. Foreground, Fred. It's kind of showed up there. There you go. Go on this eyeball. Summon the eyeball. So, is the boss going to be the swarm? Because this is just more and more swarms, and they're flying now. These are very similar to the tendrils that the Luchador King had access to. You're just Evil Pete, but in swarm form. Oh, this is confusing. Okay, all right, I have control now. Oh, no, it, the, it, we're still in the level. All right, that guy's going away. Ah! Ah! That happened. So, here you... Wow, yeah, like... It's like, I, like, I'm kind of used to these brain springs being like little foregone conclusions in terms of getting you where you need to be, but not this guy. Oh, that was real close. Whoa, that was not there. Ah, okay, hit you. You are free. Oh, jeez. Thank you for the blast. Okay, well, I got that. <laughs> I did it. Nailed it. Whoa. Okay, so like you want to run up here, yeah, obviously you do a little bit of that. It's a little bit like the stomach of the cook giant. Oh, there's a little red thing on the tail end of where your wrist would be. Or you just hit you yourself. Okay, never mind. I was ready to be all passive until, you know, you show the weak point that I wanted to interact with. Turns out, a lot more active. Alright. That's just not how the bosses in this game have been. Woo! Okay, I just kind of like reacted there. Uh, oh boy. Okay, you are expected to, yeah, not do that. Oh, you're just eating the fire. That's weird. Alright, so yeah. So you are expected to smash here like that. But, you know, I, I realize it's too late. Powerful wind energy. Yeah, okay. Powerful death energy. It's kind of getting a little embarrassing. I uh, no, just die. Like, honestly, it's, it's quicker, faster, and stronger that way. There you go. Now we get up here. Just kind of let it happen. There you go. Yeah, rescue the king. Saw blades. Branded. Uh, alright, there we go. It's coming over in the background. Well, I'm ready. Oh, it has yellow parts. Uh, okay, it's like, I don't know what the yellow parts mean. Look at that statue, though! He's so happy to be here. Alright, so, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, my flying was pretty good. Oh, so we gotta sit. No, we don't have to sit through the animation. That's nice. Alright, so. So, yeah, like, my movement is not super fast, so this looks to be the kind of fight where I. I'm trying to suss out where it's gonna be free, like, safe to hang out. And I just kind of make that happen. I'm gonna hit that. Like, I do still have a Loom Quotum to hit. 
Probably a hundred for bosses. See, now because I've hit you a lot and you're smaller, you're less of a threat. You come easier as a fight happens. That classic toast. All right, peanut butter and jam. All right, here we go. Glad to have met you. Oh, pig! All right, I don't know what's the story of that pig, but I want to learn more about it. Skeleton, big fish. All right, legend, it happens. Go, see you, whoa, yeah. Poor pig though, it does a wink. Go. So you really want to, yeah, ground pound. Ground pound, ground pound. A lot of my deaths are just moments where I need a ground pound, but I'm not. Well, clearly we are in a uh, battlefield here just without the floor. Yeah, you got two eyes this time. Uh, very scary. Oh, jeez. You're like a big old goblin lord. All right, maybe you're like super huge. Oh, yeah, you're a lot big. Whoa, no, dash attack when I didn't want to. That happens. Yeah, don't hold run until you wanna run. This is not like a Mario where you just run by default. All right, well, uh, I think I figured out how to combat this phase of the fight. Whoops, by which I mean, it's all good. Here we go. Yeah, we go here. He's there now. Wow. Then we're here now. That's how that's happening. I destroyed one of your wings, and yet you can still fly? Ridiculous. Right, we're gonna go over here. Whoa. You know what? Yeah, I kind of saved here now, I guess. You're just kind of like, yeah, like lopping pieces off. It's uh, like, it, I want to say it's graphic, but it's, it's really not. But it, like, it kind of looked like the insides is red and all that. And now he's looking like super worried. Like, it doesn't look mean in the slightest. Uh, it's pretty sad, buddy. Okay, didn't have to destroy every single part. And... We're... Gonna... It's that song! Yeah, praise the sun. And what's that giant being in the background? It's huge! Ah, oh, it's this classic tune, though. Yeah! Shower me with looms! <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know, but I love it. Yeah, <laughs> that's so silly. Well, I guess it doesn't matter what was the what was its quota, because I think I hit it. What is that giant doing? I think he's trying to play the harp. I got this giant, like, tiny claw hand and a big old harp. I mean, like, it doesn't look big compared to him. So we're not going to Planet Satan? Like, them being sent into space where they get poked by little Satan is just... What happens to them? That's so weirdly straightforward. <laughs> All right, right there in the pig constellation. Uh, they're having a lot of fun. No, they're just never gonna run out. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's the double pitchfork guy. Get stuff, play the drum. Like, I feel like sending them all to the same planetoid uh, gives you the idea that they're gonna work together to do something ridiculous, but turns out, no. They're just working together to be stuck there. Uh, yeah, I got a U-Play action. Oh, so uh, I did beat the game. There was one level left. And here it was. Destroy the world. Are these teensies that count as teensies? No, they merely count. Oh, and this counts in my, okay. Yeah, there was, there was no worry in terms of things. So there's a credits, playable credit. This game is amazing. I'm gonna repeat what I said yesterday. If we just take the individual levels outside of context, just the individual level creation, real levels, uh, the other level, like the music levels, the, the, the invasions, everything, one of the singular best games ever made. Really, it's issue, it's just how it's put together. At the same time though, like, it's trying something different. Like, I don't want to punish a game for just trying to be a little bit different, you know? I just feel like it's different in a way that gets in a way. 
People have bemoaned the lack of a map, and honestly, it's true. Like, having a proper map, like Origins, would help a lot in making the level... Like, the worlds feel like actual worlds, and not a rum pack like collection of level, for lack of a better word. I personally don't mind, but I can see how that would, you know, kind of bother some people. Like, I get it. And it makes sense. And yeah, I think there are too many origin levels. Like, so I like the idea of origins. Like, not everyone who have played this game will have played origins. And it's a cool way to kind of like recontextualize some of the content there. But I feel like they could have been one, like, half as many. And rather than having this weird, uh, like, separate origins mode that you kind of unlock them in an awkward way, I would have integrated them into, like, the main world. Like, have a few more worlds, and just have, and each world has, like, one or two origin classic in them. I think that would have made everyone happier. But that's not what it is, so here we are. The death of challenge mode is unfortunate, though if you are playing in console games, not the PC game like I am, I believe the servers, like the the Uplay servers, are still out there, so... You know, that's not completely lost. That's just uh, a result of me playing the uh, Steam version, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I feel like I've said what I needed to say. Now it's just kind of weird. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what I can to open up the rest of the, um, the Origins. But I think I'm going to do all the Origins before I do all of the invasion levels that are, uh, likely to get unlocked. Because, I don't know, like, I feel like that's the proper way to end, and I heard that the last ones get pretty hard. I don't know anything about them, but, uh, yeah, so that's gonna give you an idea. This level went pretty shortly, so at some point I might also just do the music level after this, if we ever get there. I mean, like, this is all good credits to have. Credits are important, but Ubisoft credits, they tend to get long, and I mean, you know, respect that they include as many people as possible. It's just at some point, then you get into localization in, a, in countries that, in languages I'm not gonna be play. And you know, you gotta, you gotta make a decision at some point. And I know I'm kinda starting to feel there, but no, I see like, just, there's a lot of studios working together to make a video game. Like, that's just how that level of game making happens at this point, right? But no, yeah, I'm so happy I play this. I knew after playing Origins that I would eventually play Legends. Back during the Origins LP, people were saying, oh yeah, Legends is like everything in Origins, but better. And honestly, yeah, it's the evolution, and it got better. You know, movies, a sequel tends to be less good. But in video games, I feel like number two in a series tends to be a really good spot. I, I don't know what it is. Well, I kind of know what it is. Because sometimes you do need a little bit of iteration to really nail what works in a video game. Versus, like, having a story to tell, and then, oh, well, now we have to tell the second story. So, if I do that, uh, yeah, we can skip. We saw part of it, but we're still here! <coughs> a little coughing. A little bit of messing up the art of breathing, so I... <laughs> Look at the number! This doesn't count for the difference between quota and total, right? Like, that was a weird one. Alright, I'm gonna press speed up, because that is just absolutely ridiculous. Rayman, you pull ridiculous numbers. If you keep doing that, we're gonna be in trouble with Madagascar, probably. Alright, let's do the last song and dance. Maybe I can do World Dead Party, too. Depending on how it goes, it's a big, big depending. See? Yeah, I see you there. I see you there. Not doing- we're, we're leaving y'all for the rest. Yeah! Oh! Alright, just an extra 10,000. 
Okay. I'm going to assume that Dark Raymans are the super hard ones I've been warned about as being really hard. But hey, let's slay a dragon. Walking on the land. Wow, that's pretty good lyrics. Alright, here we go. What's gonna happen? A little hop. Oh, that just falls, alright. That's pretty handy, because otherwise it'd be impossible. Here we go. You're the last music level, so my expectations are high. Is that fair? Maybe not, but I don't mind. Oh, here's a guitar. I could have hit that and make them go far. I had to make hit them and make them go far. I didn't. All right, we restart right here. It's all good. Yeah! That was not an option. Not an option, old buddy. Time to play the drum shun. Here we go. Do a jump and do a hop and then kick the world. Do a hop and then just kind of fall and then you end up a thing that you just gotta go up. Yeah! Go through the cave and die. Oh, jeez. All these bones are gone forever! Alright, just dragons in the- Whoa, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed attack instead of jump. Why? I have no idea. Here we go! Oh, and you see the symbol on the floor, that's when you hop. Yeah, if I was on the Wii- Whoa, I pressed the button too early. That is the best of us. Da -da 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 -da. The looms are gone, there were never any here. Loom gather Oh! What? Oh, okay, jumping on the dragons. Okay, so you can't- you, Okay, so- so here's where my confusion stems from. The early ones, you just keep on running. Like, you do not need a jump. But that- the last one in the series, before the big dragon head, that one, you do have to hop. There we go, running on your back. Mighty jumps. And I'm somewhere beyond the world! Time and space doesn't exist. Then in here I'm just gonna fall. That one's kinda long. Alright. The way the music has to restart is really unfortunate. Alright, here we go, so... So yeah, so, see the issue there is that I flew for no reason. Trust the level. Uh, trust the level? See, no, like, I keep accidentally just holding the jump button a little too long. I need to... Yeah, and it's time to the music and everything. It's beautiful. Oh, there's the... Sp <laughs> okay. Okay, I see what was happening, is that by pressing the attack button, when I whoa, repress the jump button, it counts as repressing it, thus instigating a flight. I get it. Am I not missing a guy? No, I'm not! Huh. I'm okay. Paying attention. I was paying attention, I just didn't notice. Ah, uh, uh, that was pretty nice. That was by far the hardest. I think. Should I just go ahead and do World End Party? While I'm here? Maybe. You know what? Why not? Redo this level, and then do Super Grandma? I mean, yeah, when else am I gonna do those, right? Like, speaking logically here. So I finished this world, though. I'm assuming I'm gonna get, like, all the tickets. Guaranteeing that finally... I have access to Origin. That's the hope. Uh, yep. I got five. Why do I not have all the team suits? Oh, because, right, it's the world I'm looking at. Yes, yeah, the, the, the thing. I'm, I didn't realize I was back on a world map somehow. Alright, let's do some 8-bit remixes! Here we go! Look at this 8-bit Dragon Slayer! Oh, we're doing this filter, huh? Alright. Do you love being able to see what you're doing? Well, too bad. 
Uh, like I was saying, too bad. <laughs> what? There you didn't just run? Like, at this point, the pixelation is so ridiculous, and also it's very jittery and hard on the eyeballs. Where am I? Like, I have no idea what I am here. Ah, you make me restart completely? Uh, jump in time, I guess. How you missed the thing? I don't know. Okay, like that was basically guesswork. Uh, I mean, I appreciate just the sheer ridiculousness, like at the end, like just completely abstract the game becomes. Just the tiniest, smallest, sort of almost pixel. I love it. I dig it. I. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, alright, let's do Grandma's own too. I mean, you know, I basically got what I thought I'd be getting. Like, it's... the pixelization got pretty naughty! And at the end, you become one pixel, and I'm like, you know what, yeah, this is... the absolute expression of whatever the heck is going on here. Yeah, I know. Let me do this here, we're just finishing the concert. Granny is the first, like, level of this place? I remember it being kind of weirdly nothing, but we're playing in four players. It's just that every player is me, sometimes. So is this the, we're going all out on the filters? Sure looks like it. Maybe that's why it felt so weirdly empty. Yay, okay, yeah, I got you, buddy. Don't worry about it. Upside down in pixels. Wow, ridiculous. Oh, including um, I I didn't know where I was. I don't remember this one at all. All right, so I mean, it's not going to be mean. Yeah. Okay. So it's visible when you need to do something. Uh, uh. Da -da -da -da. Big ol' ketchup bottle. Now, it's gone. Do a hop and then just kind of make things happen. Bounce around a little bit. Hit a pixel something that's legit. Da -da. Doing, doing, doing something at all. I remember dying from that fireball. Maybe fire pit for your friends and me. Just, I'm just looking at the top leftest square there is. Woo! Fire tunnel for me! Uh, okay. Game is continuing. I'm somewhere and you can't do anything about it. Spike ball thing! I remember the spike balls being kind of pointless. It did it. It tricked me. It got me like super near the end. And. So last time I ended up jumping too early. 
Ah! I... I fluttered at some point for no reason. Panic fluttered! There we go, just keep doing the same thing you always do. It's simple, but that nah, turns out turns out the eye trickery had been working. Yeah, so whenever the screen was splitting, I just kept going to the most top, most left corner, and it worked out. You can't let the game trick you. I bet this looks pretty fun when you're just watching though. Maybe if it doesn't give you a headache, I guess. Have you ever wanted to play an actual 90s music video? Because <laughs> here's your chance. Uh, I like that though. That was fun. I liked it. I know some people won't, and that's fair, honestly. We're gonna have to. Re I should have left that for the very end, because that's where the last unlock is. So look forward to me forgetting there's a. Jesus, okay. So look former forward to me forgetting there's a last unlock. Shouldn't there be yeah, Ninja Teensy? Alright, let's check that real quick. It's a Teensy, but he's a ninja. Get at like your favorite turtles. Yeah, these guys we're not we're not gonna get anywhere close, so. Uh. Oh, well, good luck with that. Well at least we're gonna see you on the ground. See look at that, you got a psycho crusher with your nose. It's beautiful. Well, we started a game with Rayman, and we ended the game with Rayman. Now I just gotta, you know, look at my uh, scratch and sniff theorem here. And then, basically the most literal cleanup we've ever had. Uh, hey, look at that! All I needed was two extra sniffers, and I unlocked one more Origins. Here's the other Origins here, so now we can finish World 4. Very happy to see that. Hey, got a creature. Hados, ready to judge you. Oh, Loon Soda! I love to drink magic in and of itself. Oh my god, it's back to origin! A monkey's hangout, shoot for the stars! Uh, it's like they're talking about the second, like, like the last world, even though they still use a thumbnail from Anyo from, um, Burgerville. From uh, the temple, uh, the mountains and whatnot. Mama Valal nightmares. It sounds pretty scary. I forget how many origin level like there were in in Mountain Zone. I think there were four. I think that's like two. So we need two more optimally. But I mean, we're just gonna like run out of scratch off. Like I'm assuming I'm gonna win what I need while playing said origin levels. So the way I'm seeing the future here is maybe one video for finishing World 4, one for World 5, and then I don't know how much left for the last uh, uh, infestation invasions. Because apparently some of them are pretty hard. And I expect that, that's rad, so 
I don't want to commit to any sort of, like, progress counter there. All these monsters, like Gillig, he's really popular. Uh, the Gillig farm, full -oom. so many zeros, I don't know how many of that is. So I'm gonna give up on counting them. That's a spirit, you just won a smaller amount of looms. Wow, it's very exciting. So happy I mean. So apparently using the other sticks, we'll summon forth another hand and scratch two hand. Um, wiggling the right stick and nothing's, nothing's happening. I don't know, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's a console only feature. Steam can't handle the two hands. Uh, Alright, so I still don't even have the entirety of Origins unlocked, strictly speaking. And that's really funny. Hey, we got that person. Incredible! Wow, they all arrived at once! They shared a car! There's the Bread Queen, King, King. And there's these guys in the Purple Club. Whoa, even pigs. Pigs do not bring forth any trophies. You don't get trophies from a king. I still don't have a single one of these fully completed, too. I mean, I, I could see them doing that on purpose. You only unlock full display cases, like, at a very, very, very... very end of your scritch and snatch adventure. Gonna scritch. Find your cat and you give it some scratchies and it's pretty happy. Oh, this was me scratching lottery tickets. Make sure to love, climb a mountain, and scream the URL of this video down your driveway.